Hello, I am Mal, and welcome back to the Early Access version of Master of Orion as we continue our Let's Play as the Glacon Hive. Okay, so let's take a look at the Empire real quick. So, morale, other than our newly acquired worlds, is looking pretty solid. I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at 4 BC per pop. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see. We took Orion in the last one. We've got a colony ship on the way. We've got our secondary fleet with all of our troop transports on the way. And some basic defenses over here. Here, let's buy a missile base just so we have something on these planets. Okay, I think we're good to go. Slide over there, and next turn. Oh, arid, huh? Oh, you know what that means. Cavernous transformation? Oh, I think so. All right, let's grab, um... Grab the other industrial improvements first. And then do that. Nice. Lucked out on that one. Advanced military outpost there. One cruiser, huh? Okay. As the Klekon sees Orion, the Hive is abuzz with expectation. What secrets could it have to offer the Hive mind? All right, very cool. <clears throat> Huge Gaia, ultra rich. Very, very nice. I'm just going to buy a deep core mine to start off. This one on food. And then we'll grab this. Some hydroponic. Biosphere. Cloning center. Start from that stuff. We'll leave this battleship here. Let's upgrade it, too. Yeah, you stay there. This one turned into an arid world, also. <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and do cavernous transformation, then. Advanced military outpost, huh? 
You're not gonna survive. Sorry to tell you. Actually, I'm not that sorry to tell you. I'm happy to tell you that you're not gonna survive. We need to check out that other stuff we got from Orion. Yeah, I might make like one ship class that uses all the advanced tech that we got from there just to try it out. Like the death rays and stuff. Okay, we'll do it from this this angle. Coming for you. Got that one ship that's still hurt, actually. Yeah, this guy here. All right, you go back to Orion, actually. rest of the fleet head this way I suppose This is actually a pretty nice production world too, Regulus. Not as good as Rochi, but doesn't have as many planets giving it, um, you know, additional imports either. But it's pretty good, nonetheless. How's your pollution? 2% on a turn? Okay. Build another Titan. Actually, now that I'm thinking of it, Send that Titan down there. And let's not do a Titan. Let's do like a... Let's go to ship design. Let's do something different here. First off, is there anything we need to update here? Nope, it's already updated. I already took care of that. But let's do a... Let's do a Titan... We'll call this one Titan GB for like gunboat. We can do like all weapon weapon systems, like you know, energy based weapons. But basically never use energy weapons. I'm going to a little bit in my other campaign that I'm doing right now, which is the Human Republic. I'm gonna try to stay away from missile tech and just see how good or bad energy weapons are. Not that this is a good test of that, because obviously if we got this stuff from Orion, it's probably going to be pretty good. But I want to test out the other energy weapons and how good they are in that LP. So if you haven't, been che if you haven't checked that out, well, you should. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All right, so let's see. Oh, black hole generator. Well, we got to do this. Mobilizes all enemies in the targeted area and deals massive damage over time. Yes, please. Let's grab that. It took a lot of space, but that's pretty cool. Structural analyzer will keep. Automated repair unit. Yeah, we need that. Uh, what else do we need? We have structural analyzer. We do. Multi-wave EMC. I think we really need that, actually. And I guess this doesn't work like it did in previous iterations of the game. It used to be that you could use a uh, multi-wave EMC jammer and it would protect the whole fleet. But it doesn't appear that that's the way it works in this version. That's fine, but... So one of the strats used to be... that you would get this tech multi-wave EMC and you put it on like a smaller and expensive ship and then just sort of like make sure that ship didn't get destroyed leaving it at the back it to provide e ECM jamming for the whole fleet it's probably why they changed it because it was kind of a cheap tactic I used it but <laughs> it was cheap okay now we could do battle scanner right 
Increased beam weapon hit. Yeah, okay, so let's grab that. And there's some other energy weapon tech specifically. I don't think we grabbed the... Uh, and we didn't grab the tech yet from research, so... I guess we'll just go with this for now. Shield capacitor, maybe? Or multi-phase shields? Multi-phase shields, yeah. Okay. Already got... Oh, class 5 shields, right! I forgot we got that. And we got the new armor, too. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, this ship's gonna be badass. I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Now, which weapon? I guess Death Ray is the way to go, right? Death Ray is a ship beam weapon. Yeah, that I got. Total DPS 3.1. Well, that doesn't seem all that impressive to me. Okay, well, I guess we'll try it. Leave this one front-facing, and then maybe a heavy mount? Doesn't... heavy mount doesn't seem to make a difference, though. Makes it what? Hold on. How much does it increase it? Like quite a bit. Oh, we'll just do it regular. I, I'm still not convinced that these modifiers actually work correctly. We'll grab like, I don't know, 20 of these. Do any facing on these Gauss cannons? And then shield piercing by default. That's kind of cool. this all facing. I need some point defense phasers. Let's lower these a little bit, get some more point defense. I don't want an expensive ship like this to get destroyed. Maybe 30 in two different slots. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That'll work. 106,000 military power. Oh, darn it. I didn't necessarily... Well, actually, it's probably okay that it looks this way. Yeah, that way visually we'll know. It's not as cool looking as the other one, but... That's alright. All right, so let's build one of these then, here on Regulus. It takes less turn to build it? That's interesting. Oh, look at the military power, though. Hmm, 
That's interesting. So, 300,000, almost 400,000 for one Titan? The Titan 4? Oh, that's 1 million! Holy moly! 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, yeah, that's, that's a million! Oh! Wow. And costs less to build. Okay. Well, it would appear that once you get the Orion weapons, and some of that other tech, you're just better off switching to beam weapons. But I don't know that it's calculating that... We'll just to see in combat. I mean, this is going to require some experimentation, because I don't know that that's necessarily the case. Alright, what are you going to do? Research? Uh, it doesn't really matter at this stage, just go ahead and build this other stuff. Okay, you're done with that. That one's already upgraded. That one's not ours. Anything else for you to do? Yep, you can go do that one, I guess. <laughs> 20,000 military strength. That's pretty funny. So, if that military power is correct on that new Titan, that means that one of those is more military power than this entire fleet that's sitting here? That's kind of incre- that's, that's incredible if that's the case. That- man, the late game tech snowballs fast, and if you get Orion then, that basically means instant win. Which I'm not- I'm not too keen on that, actually. I would prefer that that not be the case. I'm not saying that you shouldn't get some significant advantage for getting Orion, but if it completely changes the game, th if it changes it that much, if we find that it's that powerful, that, that weapon tech, then... you should always just go for Orion as quickly as possible. Well, Dermail, of course you should. Well, but that is, it hasn't always been the case, right? Historically, that hasn't been the case in this series. Like, Orion was an advantage, but it didn't win you the game. It wasn't an instant win button. Let's see. Uh, no, we're not attacking the colony. Move that way. Bring in the support fleet to take the planet. Alright, I got another Titan over here. Uh... Pfft. Come up here and get rid of these military outposts. I guess that's what I could do. I could build some military outposts out here. Bring those, um... Space deals over here. Factories. You don't even have a star base? Really? Okay, well, let's at least get you that. Yeah, you head over... Here. Oh, that reminds me, I need to change the construction on Rochi 5 to one of the new Titans. That apparently are going to have a million military power.
Oh, and just as a reminder, there is a classification beyond the Titans. Mm-hmm. Doomstar. Which you can only build one of, apparently, but... That's just... I mean, if you can get a million on a Titan... Toxic world, huh? Okay. Buy one of those. Then build some hydroponics. And some fungal stuff there. And then what's your morale? Your morale is crap. So we'll do... Simulator... There we go, we'll start from that. Oh, dang it. I gotta change this. Oh, four turns, I might as well let it finish, and then we'll build this. Who's not exporting you? What are you doing? Oh, Gaia transformation. Okay. That looks good. Threatening fleet. Yeah, I don't know. The AI is kind of... Like, why are you building all these troop transports when you don't have a fleet, right? Kind of silly. The hive divisors have completed the improvement the mind demanded. Okay, so let's what research what do we got here. Galactic currency exchange, galactic cybernet node, plus 50% research. Yeah, that's whew. plus 10%. Okay, let's grab this. This is, looks really good. Catching up on the research bit. What would you ask of the quad? Really, you still don't have enough money? What is your deal, dude? Look at Path of Victory again. Let's look at the time graph. Mechlor... Mechlar military power. Yeah, basically non-existent. Okay, what about Cylons? Basically non-existent compared to us. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so this is in the home system. I guess start terraforming? Not much else to do here. Oh, grab a missile base. Actually, let's do that. Let's grab a missile base and a star fortress. It's one of the few systems that's kind of exposed. Probably redesign some of my other ships too, but not I'm not overly concerned about it at this point. Okay, 
Okay, you work on... One of these bad boys, and we'll send that Titan that you just built. Uh, eh, down here, I guess. You need to do cavernous transformation. Yep, yep, yep. So let's do deep core mine. And cavernous. You're a research facility. How's your morale? 100%? Okay. Doesn't really matter what we grab here then. Rex Prime. Grab a battle station. Alright, let's take this cruiser out. My battleship against his cruiser. Our chances are good. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, get rid of that. Come on, Licky. Okay, you guys hang out back here. And you run up there and take him out. Go for their homeworld. Where is Meklar? There it is, right there. Yeah, let's let's go up and take their homeworld from them. Yep, we'll do that. But we'll do that in the next one. So I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Mal, and I will see you later.